Hi everyone, Franco from Your Guitar Academy. On this lesson, we're looking at how to play the bridge or you could call it a middle eight of that first track. So pick up your guitar, let's get started. So just quickly letting you know that this is the first unit of the course. If you want to access the full complete course with all the write-up, interactive tab, and everything you need to properly learn this, um, head on over to our Guitar Club. All the links are in the description below. So the bridge sounds like this. So first thing to notice is that we've got a new chord. Um, I did spoil it on the intro for that for that unit. So we start that bridge with a C add nine that we've seen before, and the second chord we've got second chord sorry that we've got after this is C minor add nine. So when a, a good trick that I teach all my students is when the name of a chord is similar to another one, there's a good chance they're gonna look alike because they're based on the same formula, sort of. Um, so between C add nine and C minor add nine, we're just changing one note. And that one note is this one here, it's my index finger. That is currently when I'm playing C add nine on fret number two of um, the D string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop that note down the semitone to fret number one. <laughs> It's now a beautiful minor chord, the C minor 9. So it's a bit of a weird transition to make at first, but what's interesting is that the difference between a major chord and a minor chord is just a third of that chord. When the third is major, the chord is major. When the third is minor, so flatten, the chord is minor. So what we're doing here is going from a major chord to a minor chord. Um, and we're going to have two beats on each one of these chords. So one, two, three, four, and then we jump to G major for four beats. Three, four. and we're going to repeat that um, three times. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. So let's look at the pattern for these three chords. So on C add nine to C minor add nine, two beats on each, we've got a whole pattern for them. And the pattern goes like this. Right, so what I'm playing is down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So if we count along, because we love counting along patterns, uh, if we count along, what I'm doing is one and two and a three E and four and a. One more time. One and two and a three E and four and a. And the transition between C add nine and C minor add nine happens on the A uh of beat number two. Now it's a very like sloppy transition. I'm not being too precise with it. In theory, that C minor add nine should be heard on beat number three. That was the plan. But because of the way humans ha are built, I can't just move my finger straight on that beat. Um, I mean, I I guess I could, but it's not super musical. It would sound a bit robotic. So I'm going to start my transition slightly early. And remember what we said before, as long as you've got something that is um, like a pattern you're confident with and everything, it will sound fine. Like these extra weird chords we're throwing into transitions, they're actually going to add some spice to your pattern. So let's try the same pattern, but this time with these two chords. So C to C minor. <laughs> Okay, one more time, I'm going to try to talk about the movements of my right hand at the same time. 
down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So that's it for C add nine and, and then the C minor that is for 11. Then we land on G major and G major, we're staying on it for four beats. So we've got a whole pattern on that G major and the pattern is we're playing a lot, but it's actually quite simple to understand. I'm just playing. So what I'm playing, if I'm counting along, is one and two and a three E and a E and a. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So basically, uh, from the end of beat number two, I'm strumming everything. One and two and E and a four E and a. Right. Let's put everything together. So two beats on C add nine, two beats on the C minor, and then four beats on the G major. That's the whole pattern. Now on the bridge, I'm playing this three times before we move on to, I guess you, I think you know it by now. We're going to land again on a D sus four for two, two bars. Um, so I'm playing this three times. So let me just play that three times with the drums. Same thing, try and follow me if you can. So drums, I'm going to speed up a little bit. We're going to go to, if I can, 56 BPM, very precise again. Two and three and four and second one. That's the third. And then this is four. Right, so that's the middle eight of that song. Uh, going major to minor like that is something I'm sure you've heard before if you're listening to Oasis. It's a super clever way of adding a new color to your song. Um, so experiment with that. Even if it's not like working on the paper, like if you know how to harmonize a scale or whatever, it doesn't matter. If it sounds good, it's, it's good. Just carry on with it. Right, have fun with that part, and I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye. Massive thank you from me and the rest of our wonderful tutors for watching this video. If you do want to check out another video, another playlist, you can click right over here. Otherwise, if it feels like the right time for you and you're ready to give it a go, our Guitar Club link is right up here. You can get a 14-day free trial, and you'll get access to our complete courses, our amazing community, and everything you need to properly upgrade and start loving the process of learning the guitar. I'll see you later.